Even though it was first done in 1973, restriction enzyme digestion and ligation of DNA into a plasmid vector still has a prominent place in today's molecular biology lab. Unfortunately, even though it's been around for a long time, it's not entirely foolproof. Today we're going to go over an easy, visual way to confirm that the bacteria you're using have been successfully transformed with a plasmid containing your specific insert. That's done with a technique called blue-white screening. To get started, you'll need the following. Autoclaved LB auger, a 100 millimolar IPTG stock solution, a 20 milligram per milliliter Xgal stock solution, a compatible plasmid vector with cloned DNA, and E. coli competent cells. To make your Xgal stock solution, dissolve 20 milligrams of Xgal in one milliliter of DMF. While Xgal will dissolve in other solvents, we strongly recommend DMF for maximum product stability. Vortex to dissolve and then store the solution at minus 20 and protect it from light by wrapping in some aluminum foil, especially if your freezer is open a lot. To make multiple Xgal IPTG plates for blue-white screening at once, start with autoclaved LB auger that's been cooled to around 50 degrees C. I typically estimate around 25 milliliters of media for each 100 millimeter plate that I need. First, add your antibiotic that's compatible with your plasmid and cell line. Next, you'll add one microliter of 100 millimolar IPTG per milliliter of media. Next, you'll add 10 microliters of 20 mg per mil Xgal per mil of media. Swirl to incorporate all the ingredients and pour the auger into your empty place. You can flame the plates to remove any excess air bubbles. Then dry the plates open in a laminar flow hood or covered on the bench top. We recommend using a higher concentration of Xgal than some other protocols because it gives the colonies a deeper blue color and significantly decreases the number of ambiguous colonies, ones that are kind of blue but not as blue as the others. The higher concentration will also allow that color to develop faster with good interpretable results available after just an overnight incubation. Transform the competent cells with your cloned plasmid following the transformation protocol appropriate for your cells. Once your pre-poured or top-spread plates are dry, plate an appropriate amount of cells onto the antibiotic IPTG Xgal plates. Once those are dry, place in a 37 degree incubator and incubate overnight. The next day, you'll be able to count the number of blue and white colonies on the plate. If you have white colonies, then you'll know that your ligation and transformation were successful and you can pick those colonies for further study. And that's all there is to it. With a few extra steps, you'll have a better overview of how well your ligations have worked and spend less time screening bacterial colonies for the one containing your plasma. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at techsupport at goldbio.com. Thanks for watching.